Hey there guys, today I wanted to show you the latest upgrade that I've made to my chicken coop and that is a chicken coop poop door that you see right down there below at the bottom of the coop. Uh, what essentially it is is a little access door where I've built a couple little trays that slide in there to where I can put all of the uh, straw bedding on and then when it's time to clean out the coop I simply pull out the trays and put them in my compost barrel or a wheelbarrow or just out in the desert. Um, some of you may be familiar with this access door. It's the same type of door I made on the coop that I built for my in-laws uh, to make it easier for my father-in-law to clean out the coop and I was so happy with it I figured this coop deserved that upgrade. So let me take you around. I'll show you what the trays look like, how the door opens, all that functions and then uh, hopefully this is going to make cleaning the coop a lot easier. The basic construction of the trays is pretty simple. I simply used some 2 by 3s for the outer framing, some quarter inch ply on the bottom, I made some handles out of electrical strapping, and then I lined the inside with some Tuftex vinyl panels that I had left over from a side project. And the center handle is made with some galvanized wire and some half inch electrical conduit just to give something nice to grab a hold of. And here's how the trays fit in the coop. Each tray accounts for approximately one half of the chicken coop's width. And I did this for a couple reasons, but the main purpose was just to have trays that were a little bit easier to handle. And here's what the trays look like from inside the coop. You'll see they account for about three quarters of the length of the coop and that's just because this closest area is normally for storing food and my battery box and the chickens generally don't defecate in this area. But this is basically how they look and how they set inside the coop and normally they will be covered in straw but I just wanted you to see what they look like setting in there with uh, nothing on them. Now for the actual purpose and function of the trays, here are the two ways that I plan on actually using them to clean out the coop. Uh, this way I can simply bring a wheelbarrow up, pull the tray out and empty the straw and poop and other bedding material into the wheelbarrow and then throw it in a compost pile. Um, and then this second way will be me directly taking the trays to my compost barrels and putting them in there. And this is kind of what it's going to look like. I'll just prop up one side of the compost barrel with a stick in my tumbler and then bring the tray over and empty it in kind of like that. Uh, if you are wondering why I am not actually putting stuff in here, I just didn't really feel like getting dirty uh, during the filming of this. But I can assure you when it is full, uh, these are the two methods that I will be using. Here is a close up look of the latch and the door mechanism and just uh, how that kind of works and another view of kind of how the trays are inside and uh, just a little more detail. And here's what the trays look like with the actual straw bedding material in them. Uh, you'll see that the vinyl panels underneath uh, just allows the straw to move around really easily and if any poop or anything gets on them it should be able to slide off pretty easily. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this was helpful in case you happen to be working on a coop project of your own. And if you already have an existing coop, maybe this could be a cool addition or upgrade like I've done in this case. Um, also, if any of you are interested in this exact coop, I am planning on doing another tour slash walk around as I have done several different modifications and upgrades that were uh, maybe not to the level that I was willing to do a video of them individually. Um, so just look for that to be coming soon and let me know if that will be of interest to you and uh, if there's a whole bunch of people saying yes uh, maybe I will push it up a little bit quicker uh, as you can see one of the, the uh, first ones is a little vent that I added and I've got some other uh, little things inside and little things like that so anyway guys thanks for watching as always and uh, we will see you next time